welcome to Mochi's Mochi Hi everyone and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how I made this beautiful working clock table here that's really modern and slick and it really goes with the rest of my space here. So if you like to see how I made it, just keep watching. So if you've been with me for a while, if you remember I did a clock table using Dollar Tree baskets and a clock, but it was not a functioning clock. So this time I wanted to make a table for my family room that was actually a functioning clock. So here are the inspirations for this DIY. I found several clock tables online, but they were really, really expensive. So here are the items that I'm using. I picked up this clock from Ross. I believe I paid $15.99 for it, but you can also find something similar on uh, target.com and here's the table that I'm using here I also picked this up from Ross and I paid $19.99 for it uh, but you can also find something similar on target.com or even Walmart or Amazon So let's go ahead and get started. So to do this, I am going to be flipping my table upside down because we need access to the battery pack. So in order to do that, I need to flip my table upside down. So I went ahead and put my battery into my clock. And now our new top, I am going to be taking the tabs off the top and I'm going to place it on our new bottom. Next, I'm applying my E6000 to the top part of my table. And then we're going to be placing our clock onto the table. Um, to make it easier, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this upside down. And then to make sure that it's properly secured, I'm gonna go ahead and apply E6000 all around the bottom here. And then I just placed some items on top to help it to stay in place while it dries. And as you can see, we have access to the battery pack. And then I added something at the bottom here, it's optional. And here is the final result of this DIY. I really, really love the way this turned out. And it really goes well with my style. Right now I have it in my family room and I think it really goes well with my style here. You can place different decor items to style it. And I just really love the way this turned out. I have a lot of silver, grays, and blues in my family room. And I think this really complements all the other uh, decor items that I have. Um, I'm already actually decorating for spring. And um, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this DIY. And also let me know if you guys wanna see a family room tour for spring. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, I'd love for you to join the Moji Style family by hitting that subscribe button. And until next time, you guys have a wonderful week. Take care, bye-bye.